guys, lovely! How are you doing, everyone? Welcome back to Valhalla! Today, as always, we are going to do our daily job as a bartender. <laughs> what a silly introduction. Anyway, welcome to this lovely channel that you found randomly on the internet. I didn't expect you today. I was waiting for you to call and say you wouldn't be coming or something. Things at the Polo Bank are getting ugly, so that means more people will be looking for a drink. So, you can take a break, you know, you're quite a hard worker. And uh, the stress are not exactly safe right now. This... what? Uh, did she say street or stress? <laughs> kind of misread it, probably. And I never been when you get down to it. And besides, I cannot afford to come with the bar closing soon. I wonder if any bar is using pending closure as a means of getting their employee to work. Seems like the total opposite will happen. Not to venture, I get bored out of my brains to my apartment, so I'd rather come here anyway. Uh, what do you say? Nothing important. Gil isn't back yet? No, I wouldn't worry too much about him, though. If you say so. That girl is still there? She's been being so peaceful, I felt bad at waking her up. So, would you mind doing that for me? Well, then probably take about 18 hours at least, right? It wasn't it? I think it was 18 hours. Was the uh, I know there is a guy that is in the records. Didn't he reach like 50... Around 50 days, Pro probably more, without sleeping at all. And he actually fell asleep and he took like around 18 hours of sleep. Actually, yes, I mind. But you are the boss. I kinda. It's kinda my fault that she's here in the first place. Sorry about that. Hey, long lady, sleep another hour and we have to start charging you a motel fee. Uh, no. <laughs> the burst of energy! <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's like having three Red Bull thrown at you at the same simultaneously! Holy God, the moly! <laughs> mm, where am I? <laughs> Alright, Jan, um, shut it down, Tampa. Let's see, all my gear is in place, uh, neither my pants nor my young panties. Should the bra have been displaced? Oh, it's the flower bartender, good morning! Good evening. Evening? Oh, well, it's the best night or day of sleep I've had in quite some time. Sorry for all the trouble I may have caused uh, you today, or last night. Don't worry. You're so nice, flat bartender. Thanks for taking care of me, bye. Okay... That just happened. Hello guys and girls, Stream Jam back in action with her batteries reloaded! Ah, the moon! It burns! It burns! Feel like, <laughs> feel like I've unleashed something terrible onto the world. Ah, don't feel bad. <laughs> it was already on that path, anyway. Come on, it's not that bad. Say that... Say, what's this bottle? Ah, Klein gave it to me yesterday. A gift of sword, I'm guessing. Oh, cool. It's some sort of rum. Rum? Nice. Want me to serve you a bit of it? Uh, yeah, sure. I skip the boss of rum and go to the bottle drink tab and drag it to the sugar before mixing. Grandpa Booze? Grandpa Booze? Here. Alrighty! Come enjoy these in my office, thanks. Anytime. Okay then. Grandpa? Grandpa? Grandpa room? Grandma room? Time to serve mix and change lives. Wait, that's not how it goes. How do you guys go? I totally forgot. Ah, no one's here to retort. Man, I feel lonely without Gil here. I just hope the restlessness in the streets doesn't lead to dangers or weird types coming here. Oof. It's a normal day at Valhalla. Good evening! Holy shit, that was a regular breaking jinx. Uh, you fudged it out, Jill! And now you have to live with it. Uh, uh, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? I'll have a blue fairy. Uh, don't make a joke about becoming real. Don't make a joke about becoming real. On it. Here you go. Nice, yeah, this is the thing. So, um, uh, um, uh, 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 how are you gonna... Oh, you can grab stuff, should have figured out as much. Uh, you can drink stuff, can you? How do you... And eat, I have the same system Lilim do. Oh, can I ask you something? I'm, uh, um, uh, me... Call me Taylor, just Taylor. Taylor! And yes, a uh, cutie like you can ask me anything. Okay, Taylor, uh, you have to be the first person I've met that didn't go, okay, just Taylor. Nah, too easy. You are a brain in a jar, right? 
I'm sure not a hologram of this. So yeah, I'm sure. Yep, I'm a bona fide human brain in a jar. So um, how? Why? Why actually? What does my Henderson makes you speechless? You are not something a girl sees every day, and that's uh, saying quite a bit in these parts. Fear not, for I have a speech prepared for these situations. You have a speech? You are seeing one of the five great living bottle brains of the world. Five? Wow. We are brains living conditions that allow us to exist and any other humanoid creatures. Our well, computer is our job, scans our activities. Uh, and in a slow but steady manner, we are helping the world understand the inner workings of nature's most complex computer. Guess you are that after being asked the same question too many times, huh? Not out of exasperation or anything like that, mind you. I just wanted to have something thoughtful prepared. Look, I even have a couple of pamphlets with me. You wanna you want one? Uh sure. What brings uh, one of our spy brains um in a jars to this place now? Uh oh, I'm from around here actually. Oh, I just wanted to take a walk for the first time in quite a bit. Huh. Have you come here before? Sadly no, otherwise I remember a cute face like yours. Speaking of which, can I have your name? Oh, it's Chill. Chill, that's a really cute name! This, <laughs> this booming music. Yeah, go fuck off. Much better. Which one was it? Base of the Titans. Ah, yeah, I don't, don't know. Well, something more chill, more, more like, you know, jazz. <laughs> Say, why aren't you scared of going outside today? What's with the commotion around and all? Uh, it didn't stop you from coming here either, did it? Yeah, you're right. It's gonna take more than a cryptic but ominous news to stop me. Oh, you're awfully energetic. Did you know that? Sorry, does that bother you? No, not at all. Just that I figure a brain in a jar wouldn't be so happy. While I was alive, my body got to a point where there wasn't much I could do. This new state of existence allows me to accomplish more than I ever could before. Plus, I'm doing something that uh, I help people in the long run. Mm -hmm. When will you be happy? Is the more or less the same concept of donating your own body to science? I mean, it is helpful to a certain degree. You wanna make me happy, Jill? Uh, depends on what it takes. Don't worry, just give me a beer. Alright then. Yeah, I'll make you happy. Make a beer for the, our brainiac kid, yeah? Here, a beer. A beer? Ah, yes. No matter what happens, beer is always good. There's, there's little to no beer that I enjoy in my life. It's interesting though, just yesterday I was uh, talking to a client about brain uploads. You were? Yeah, we were talking about how even if you uploaded your brain, you'd still be here. I thought about that too. You think the... You think the... You think the you in the cybernetic environment will feel like she was uh, indeed transferred? Like, uh, will she remember everything? Like, uh, waking up some place else and so on? I mean, that's an interesting question. Wouldn't you? I mean, wouldn't you actually know that you are, are a transferred memory? I mean, you did transfer the memory, right? Wouldn't I also record of you transferring the process of transferring memory? I mean, you know, right? Must be. Is it like going to a place spiritually and you choosing to go to that place but you retain all the memory of your life, right? So you retain your last memory, which is you doing this transfer, right? I was actually thinking earlier about being able to transfer someone's brain to a little. Uh, one of the brains is uh, being used in such an experiment, actually. They can make a functional limb. Unfortunately, the wiring and the other... E Unfortunately, the wiring and the other stuff make it look more creepy than anything. They aren't transferring his identity or anything, though. Just wiring him to a body. Oh. Uh, you think someone would rather do that than float around exposed in a jar? I have to admit, the whole brain thing does look creepy. But uh, the body I'm telling you about it is just uncanny looking. Uh, speaking of uncanny, how did you feel when you saw yourself like this for the first time? It was quite a shock, actually. I didn't last long, too long, though. I never was so attached to my body. Later in my life, that was almost literal. You know what they, you know what the downside to this body is? I can't get wrong. Oh yeah, don't you need that liver or something? If you want to call that a downside, if you wanted to drink alcohol for the taste, uh, there are many alternatives. Drunkenness is a part of the whole experience. 
Uh, why though? Lily can get drunk with no problem? Yeah, but in their case, their brains got computer attached to their body. Getting drunk causes their brains to reduce the input speed to their bodies. Huh. Depending on the model, their drunk subroutines might turn in a different behavioral cycle, even... It's hard to get drunk when the whole point of being in a jar is figuring out exactly how you work. Uh, yeah, you're right. I'm still confused why someone thought it was a good idea to implant man the drunkness to a machine. But that's just me, I guess. <laughs> hey, Jill. Oh, Alma. Alma? Oh, just oh, Alma. Where's the courtesy one with the uh, expat from Plebeian Bar stuff? Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? Happy? No way you put in that way. Why, well, hello there, beautiful. Uh, whoa, whoa! <laughs> wow! You heard my feelings with that, darling. Uh, sorry, you don't see talking disembodied brains every day. I mean, I did work at summer in a living maintenance, but even then, those were talking heads. Ah, uh, don't worry about it, at least you are not running or fainting. Your name was Alma, right? I'm Taylor. Nice to meet you, Taylor. Say, Alma, can I buy you a drink? <laughs> Sorry, I only date people who are at least 50% uh, organic and have at least one face. Mm, I know just what you strive for then. Just kidding, it'd make me happy to make you happy by buying you a drink. Does that bother you? I guess if it chills the bartender, I don't have a problem with that. Awesome, I'll pay for your next drink then. What will you have? Have a cobalt velvet. Cobalt velvet? And you, Taylor? I'm fine, actually. You're gonna have me a... <laughs> You're gonna have me drink alone? I don't wanna drink that much. Okay then. La la. Your drink? Hope you enjoy it. You know, you've been nicer to me these past minutes than the last... Than the le at least three guys have been the last year. Judging from the way you two talk, I'm guessing you've been a client here for a while now, right? Well, for about half a year or so, if memory serves me right. Really? One will think it's been longer. Ah, it feels like it's been longer. Shut up, you love me, and you know it. <laughs> and you know it! <laughs> so, you just started coming here and... That was it? Well, the first time I came here, the other guy... Speaking of which, where's Pablo? Wasn't John? Gillian. Ah, uh, Archimedes? Uh, you know, adventuring or something. Anyways, the other guy served me the first time I came here. Very unusual there. The next time I showed up, Jill here was the one serving and I don't know, I feel like she just gets me. There's this chemistry. We click. <laughs> we click? We click, she says? The fact that I feel more chemistry with her than with many other people is kinda sad though. You say so? It's always good to see a nice friendship. Sadly it's getting late, I gotta go. I'll leave you two lovely ladies alone. See ya! Bye! Please come again. That Taylor show was nice. A bit weird at first though. Apparently one of five brains being studied by scientists or something. There's a summary of uh, it in this pamphlet. Let's see. Oh yeah, I've heard of them before. I cannot believe I actually met them. Say Alma, how many people are there in your family? Just curious. Well, aside from my mom and dad, we have uh, five... Uh, <clears throat> sorry, four sisters and one brother. <laughs> what happened to the brother? <laughs> What happened to the brother? <laughs> did, he, did he, you know, switch? <laughs> Funnily enough, we all have names that start with the first file letter in the alphabet. Oh, so you're the eldest one? No, I'm actually the middle kid. What alphabet? <laughs> what alphabet were we talking about then? <laughs> you are the middle kid, but your name starts with an A? Don't think too much about it, I never said the order reflect our ages. What? My sister Carlotta, eldest one, and there is Diana, just before me, and comes Eva, and at the bottom lies Belle. <clears throat> Sorry, the youngest one is Bernardo. Ah, she... <laughs> Fair enough? Switch? You've never been alone, I'm guessing. Can't complain, Can't complain about that, I guess. It helps that we were never five in the same house. By the time Avita and Barony were born, Diana and uh, Charlotte had already moved. Speaking of family, today I came because I needed a break from everything that's been going on with them. Oh, do you live with them? No, but uh, Evita and Barony do. Not to mention I visit them almost every day. Anyway, my second eldest sister, Diana, just separated from her husband. He's not even been awake, but she's already got some other guy in her bed. Jesus! I was quick! She left her kid with her husband's parents and pretty much forgot about them. 
Never mind the fact that they need to go to school and all that. Down? Diana's life has always been messy, but these days she's really making it big. She wants time for herself to live her life. She didn't think about that when she married a guy at 20. She didn't think about that when marrying a guy she had only known for like 3 months. To be honest, if I was a guy... The guy, I would probably don't marry, I wouldn't marry someone that I'd only known for 3 months. You should take your own advice, but hey, maybe some desperation. I never marry someone who could catch my attention so quickly, okay? Sure, there was uh, that one time when I almost happened, but I blamed the damn stadium case cam. Case cam? Those doors those stop work? I was going out with a guy my little sister introduced to me. Since we... Seems he was her friend's brother or something. He went out uh, a couple of times, then he invited me to a basketball game. The mood was nice, but then later the kiss cam focused on us instead of kissing me, he proposed! I almost got caught in the mood and accepted. Huh. So I take it you rejected him in a stadium of a fucking kiss cam? He went out like uh, for like three weeks. I don't know, maybe he wanted to get in my pants with the old sex on the wedding night line. But I honest to God cannot understand why he thought it would be a good idea. That sounds too convoluted, you know? Proposing waiting for the wedding night just to have sex. Well, so guys. Never dismayed the leg of a man is willing to go to get you into the bed. I see more convoluted plots over the years. I'm really tempted to ask, but I'll pass. Want anything else? Um, uh, what's that bottle? Oh yeah, it's just some rum that client gave me yesterday. A gift? What did you do? Uh, good enough service, I'm guessing? Kachik, kasik, kasik, kachink, kasikwe, kasike. What? Uh, interesting name. What does it mean? Uh, kasike is the name of the chieftain in some native tribes. I see. Do you want me to serve you some of this? I'll pass. I don't have too many good memories of where rum is involved. Get me a fringy waiver instead, will you? Alrighty. One fringy weaver. What kind of memories do you have with Rum? Nothing you need to worry about. Okay. Alright. Now it's my turn to ask question. About what? What kind of family is your family? Well... I'm an only child. My mom and my dad split amicably. My mom is a violinist and she was always away from home with the orchestra. I spent most of my time with my dad, my aunt and my grandpa. Aside from that, I'd say my childhood was quite uneventful. Huh, did you get something like your mom's artistic vein or something? I played the violin until I was around 16, I think. What made you stop? I don't know, I just kinda say that's it, one day and stopped. What about cousins or the rest of your family? I say very little of them, actually. Mainly because my dad moved away from most of them. Most uh, of my mom's family live in France to boot. So your mom is a... Uh, French? Yep. Oh, can you speak French? Mon Wait, what? I'm gonna guess what this means. My horror glass is filled with an uh, angels? Uh, angels? Uh, what the heck? What are they called? I forgot. Water serpents. <laughs> Eels. There we go. That's my guessing. <laughs> so a big no. Oh, what does it mean? Rubbish? I don't know. I can't well speak French. <laughs> uh, try it uh, though. But college started and I stopped taking classes. Funny thing, I actually have a cousin from my mom's side that lives close by. But you'll be hard pressed to make me spot him in a crowd. You're uh, kinda lucky, you know? All of my mom's side of family lives here. The chance of me meeting someone I'm related to on the street are ridiculously high. Well, yeah, that's the primer of my, my family. Nothing too interesting, sadly. Your mom is a French violinist, and you call that uninteresting? I mean, uh, I wonder. I wonder if your family has ever made a fuss about you being a hacker. Hacker makes it sound too exciting. It's a like, uh, it's called you a mixologist. Please don't ever sound like something somebody would say to make a bartender sound sophisticated. See? A potion maker. <laughs> I mean, hacker is good ways to summarize it, but it's not the best. Uh, I'm a security consultant. 
So, what was that name? White Hawker? Wasn't the White Hawker. It was like Black Hawker and White Hawker. It was weird. Like, the White Hawker is more like a security, cyber security kind of deal. And Black is more the, the attack one. But I believe she's doing both. <laughs> so, this is why she's been called Hawker. People want to find flaws into security of their system, and I do my best to pinpoint where it breaks. Be that glitchy city or anywhere else in the world, they need security. I'm there, Homan. You told quite a few stories about cracking into database to retrieve info like uh, some sort of a mercenary though. That doesn't change the fact that the hacker is not the best term to use. Makes the whole thing sound illegal when it's actually a honest job. Which one it is, it is actually a, an honest job, the, the white one at least. I'm not sure about that. Did you tell me you want to secure some incriminating pics from a guy's cell phone? A mostly honest job! Sheesh! <laughs> what made you become a hacker, by the way? I've always been a sucker for puzzles. Even as a kid, I always had a Sudoku crossword with me. But sometimes they started feeling kind of samey. They kind of do, right? So when I started college, I took a course of system security. I felt like a kind of puzzle I was looking for. I mean, there are all kinds of things involved in breaching that security. You need to attack the stuff from different angles. And it's not something that I'm always evolving. The whole point of everything is to strengthen the security. Every time you think you got the gist of it, they change everything. Which is why I have headache. Because they tell you one thing, but it's another. So it's never actually that thing. You know what I what I found fantastically funny, hilarious? I was doing a data science project, and basically the, I was using a book from 2020. And this was 2021? So it's just past one year. I was using this data science uh, keyword and uh, the the system itself, after I started using it because it was an exercise and uh, it was like, you know, basically the book telling me to use it, right? It was just a copy paste kind of deal. And this fucking keyword, the fucking system told me, oh, we don't support this keyword anymore from whatever day and whatever uh, month. And uh, so, Stop using it. <laughs> it's literally what the fuck he told me. <laughs> Imagine I was doing an exam or a project. <laughs> I was like, I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm totally fucked. And it was only a year. It's not like one from 1969 or <laughs> 1999. It was a year. A fucking year, mate. So do I have to... Re uh... Do I have to check again and re relearn the fucking wheel every fucking year? It's a fucking headache! I mean, I could try to do it, but then I cannot do anything fucking else because I constantly have to study this bloody thing that is fucking evolving at the god speed. Jesus! I passed the help make hard at that. Oh, I didn't think about it that way. It's less actually than what movies make it up to me. That's actually very true. No real time frantic typing, nothing like that. Nothing like that. Still seeing my code break through something is an amazing feeling. Do you have anything else? It's more like finish writing, press OK, run it, see what happens, and uh, nothing happens. Make adjustment. If something happens, you got it. <laughs> it's literally what it is. <laughs> it's nothing so bad. So. I'll have a classy drink, any classy drink. Here goes nothing. Fleming Moai. So from what I read from a uh, guide, basically they explained me that uh, this supposedly to unlock a client. Uh, so they told me to start this, so... Here you are. Yep, just what I needed, thanks. Say Jill, what's the worst that could happen if you don't get your drinks right? Well, people have the right to not give me money. If they don't pay for it, I don't get my bonus. No bonus means less money and no tips, which doesn't help because I have to pay my bills. Oh, I see. You have to make an effort to pay your bills? Nope. <laughs> I'm just gonna hack someone's computer and steal all his Bitcoin. <laughs> you have no idea how much I hate you right now. Well, my job pays pretty well and I'm not the kind to spend too much on things other than food and bills. Maybe maintenance on my hands and new equipment, but aside from that. Oh, I know, if you have trouble with your bills, why not live with me? <laughs> ah, gay girls. We could be roommates. Ah, I don't know. Moving my stuff through the stairs because that image is broken. 
Time to move my liquor collection. Never mind, I bet my cat saw shutting. I got uh, very upset one time I moved some furniture around. The idea of moving just gives me a headache. You shouldn't take things so seriously when I say them, you know? I don't, but I've thought about it before. Now I need some air. I'm gonna take my break. You wanna come? Are you inviting me to the back of the bar? You should invite me to the dinner first. Every minute you waste making jokes is time taken for my break. Fine, let's go. Boss, I'm taking my break! Call me if you anyone comes in! Ciao, ciao! Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're enjoying this uh, little adventure of ours. Um, I would have actually preferred to fuse everything together, but I believe it will be too long. I kind of try to shorten up the episode each, so to make it more uh, bit bite. So I'm bit bit bite, yeah. So <laughs> if uh, if you prefer it other format, uh, just tell me. I'll see what I can do. Uh, otherwise, uh, I'll probably stick with this format. Just like for each break, I'm going to turn off the day and uh, give you a breather. Anyway, as usual, have a lovely day, lovely evening. Have a lovely day, a lovely evening, and good lovely bye. <laughs>